Hey, welcome back to Island Style here at Les Murakami Stadium. You know, we want to say a big mahalo to the UH Athletic Department for allowing us unprecedented access to the shrine to baseball here in Hawaii. And it means so much, both growing up for all of us, but me especially. I used to watch the game right there along the first base side with my father. So there's a lot of memories, the sights, the sounds, all right here surrounding UH baseball. And that's coming up right now in Taizo Time. You know, walking around Les Murakami Stadium has brought back a lot of memories for this episode, for me. And, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of memories out there, but in this edition of Taizo Time, I wanted to bring you literally to the seats that I used to sit with with my father when I was in elementary school. And <clears throat> it was actually back in the day before it was Les Murakami Stadium, and it was Rainbow Stadium. And this place, again, rocks. It leads the nation sometimes in average attendance, about 3,000 people a game back in those days and it's still a beautiful place that brings back memories. It's the sights, it's the sounds, and speaking of the sounds, I mean, you have the teams warming up, the crack of the bat, but also right here, the, the concessions, the ladies getting, uh, getting ready, excuse me. The reason why I said married is because I knew her son was at his wedding, and now we've grown up and we're bringing our kids back to the same section, enjoying the sodas and the hot dogs, the chili. Okay, if you've never had the chili at, at Les Murakami Stadium, it's something to behold. It is delicious, it's satisfying, it's something that's all part of the game. And again, this is America's pastime. But here at Les Murakami with the bows, the rainbows, it's Hawaii's pastime. And it's all part of that sharing and bringing it with memories. We cover it when we get to, my dad, I remember he brought our little league team, the Aina Haina Tigers. And we came here and they still do it on Fridays. You can come out and the little league teams come out with the national anthem. They sing the national anthem with the teams. And at the end of the game on Friday nights, they let the kids come out and get autographs with the players. And that's all the part of the bonding and the storytelling that happens every game here at Les Murakami Stadium. And it's cool, it's state of the art, $11 million facility when they first built it back in 83, 84. And the sound booth, the media booth up there is really one of the best in the nations for college baseball. It's two floors, you got radio, you got TV. But when it comes to radio too, that's a way that my father and I used to listen to the game. He used to bring a little AM radio thing and uh, we used to both share a headset. And listen to back in the day, Don Robbs, who was the voice of UH Baseball, tell the story of the game on the field. And I think as a visual storyteller that we are now, listening, hearing, and learning that as I was growing up made me want to be a storyteller and made me want to be part of that, what we see today. And it's, it's really cool. It's all part of Les Murakami Stadium and the sights and the sounds of baseball. I mean, you can just hear it right now. But yeah, it's the food, it's the sights, it's the sounds. It's all about the stories. It's all about the butterflies that just roll through our shot like that. But that's what it's about here at Taizo Time.